ఆచ్చేయండి సార్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ సార్ మై సెల్ఫ్ శివ కుమార్ ఫ్రమ్ బిఏ రాజు స్టీమ్ అండ్ ఐ వర్క్ ఫర్ ఇండస్ట్రీ డాట్ కామ్ ఐ షో వాట్ వాస్ ద ఇనిషియల్ రియాక్షన్ వెన్ యూ హర్డ్ ద స్క్రిప్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద important opportunity and ani i i thought uh, you know it is a very important opportunity after yuganiki okudu you know because we don't get to uh, this kind of big films or big scripts only few directors uh, dare to do such uh, big projects and so uh, this kind of a scale this kind of uh, adventure uh, you know like a like an indiana jones or something like you got to give or do something like that you know you get it very rarely so i thought it's a great opportunity uh, and uh, anyways vikram sir is there is a great actor yanavel sir is there and then uh, rajesh sir already is a great film maker but this is his most <laughs> so i thought uh, it is one of the best opportunity to take it up and i say i felt it's a good space to prove myself you know very rarely you get a space to prove yourself so what are the kind of experiments uh, you have done for this project sir everything i've done everything for this project uh, you know like a lot of research basically it is a life of a tribe sir so uh, our tribes uh, uh, the uh, references who do they compose what kind of music they produce what kind of music you know can relate to their lives so it, it is a connection between a tribal music and the cinema music you know i was the bridge between both to present it to the audience in a commercial form because we can't go to raw also when you come to cinema and you present uh, 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 a life of something it has to be presented with a commercial package so how you maintain the rawness and again uh, get it into the cinema format was the biggest challenge hi sir this is bargo from ntv telugu hi hi bargo and uh, this is this film is periodic theme right uh, what are the uh, challenges you faced while uh, composing the music and what are the homework you have done for it so basically you know when you take a period film you should not go into too much of synth or modern uh, sounding you know so when there is a period this is like a uh, you know like a much uh, pre independence period there you know there are uh, they're going into uh, Uh, the mines uh, the kgf mines and uh, you know the tribals and the british so whatever the music it is it will be before that uh, period, say 19 before 1945 or before 1940s so whatever the instruments are maximum we'll go for live instruments. we will not go for synthesizers we don't use uh, uh, modern sounds but you still give a cinematic experience yeah. sir uh, hi sir good evening i am ramesh mm. Hi, sir. Sir, uh, songs are very good, sir. Uh, Tangala and title song and Manaki Manaki in Telugu. Thank you. So, uh, what is the reception that you are getting from songs? What is the applause? It, it is fantastic. The Manaki Manaki, the Milky Milky song is doing really well. And the Lane Tangala is also doing very well. There is a very huge buzz. The advance ticket bookings are really, really good. The screens are very good. So, everything seems very positive for this film because... Yeah, we do a lot of hard work for every film, but this film, you know, it is showing audience also reflecting in terms of bookings and streams and numbers and you know how songs are doing. Uh, there is a lot of positive response for this film. Wow, Prakash, uh, yeah, uh, Prakash, this is Ramya from uh, the Pioneer Hyderabad. Hi. So, hi. Uh, you have a diverse uh, repertoire of music uh, or uh, songs across various genres, right? Uh, so, this question is coming up uh, following to what Bhargav has asked. How did you adapt your style to fit the mood and theme of Tangalan? So, basically, I have handled a few films before. Like, say, for instance, let it be Yugani Kiyokuru or let it be Badrasa Pagin or let it be Gangs of Vasaipur in Hindi. Uh, in a lot of films i have dealt with period uh, music so it it helped me to uh, uh, you know uh, handle this film but uh, but what is the difference what is the difference you are going to show what is specific in tangalan and what is the sound of tangalan what is going to be specific so that i had to fix so then 
uh, since the, the the line and the geography deals with the tribes, I wanted our to explore our Indian tribal music where you know it has been very explored in cinema. Very very less it has been used. So I have a flavor of tribe with international uh, music to fitting into this uh, uh, sound. Effect. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, also, did you get a chance to view any part of the film? If yes, how did you find it? I didn't, I didn't get your question, ma'am. Can you, can you? Did you get a chance to to watch or view any part or scenes of the film so far? Yeah, yeah, I've done the background score of the film, so the whole film I watched. It is fantastic. I think it is a it's a very important film in Indian cinema, and uh, the way it is written. Uh, there is something called uh, magical realism. So the screenplay is based on magical realism. I think it is very new to Indian cinema. See, we have seen uh, in the past you know, the historic films, and you know we've seen uh, uh, magical realism. But it, this has a very interesting uh, layer to it. So uh, I'm very excited on how the uh, the response is going to be because I personally like this. Sir, how do you feel uh, about Vikram sir reinventing himself every time he is when he is coming onto the screen? How do you feel about that? He is a very dedicated actor, and uh, I think Tangalan is his toughest challenge till date. He has done so many films, but uh, physical uh, toughness in Tangalan is the is the is the most till date for him. See, he has done lot of films. He has done with all big directors, but the the pain and the 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 physical pain he has gone through is is a lot in this film. And see, even though you you strain your body, you you. Lose weight, you do so many things, but whatever said and done, the character is also fifty percent. What they write for you in the film. So here, I think with this hard work, see every time he puts in hard work, but that go in the right way. You know? So for this time, he has a director who's written the character so well for him. So both have, you know, it's it's given hand in hand, and it is elevated both of them. The director's writing and the character and this hard work. Sir, basically, Ranjit yeah. sir has uh, pre-workshops for the artists and the entertainers before coming to the shoot. So once he is narrating the script to you, what was the discussion between you and him, sir? First, we needed to find the sound of Tangalan. So he was uh, very much into the world of Tangalan. He was telling me about the world, what kind of world he is looking at, what is his world, what is his uh, environment, or what is he going to uh, produce, and what kind of a world he is going to show the audience. So when he has a vision, I had, I was getting words from his mouth, and you know, like uh, getting uh, a, a bit of uh, trying to perceive what he is trying to say, and I wanted to give a vision to his world. Okay. So like you know, the, the vision of uh, in the terms of audio. So that was a very tough challenge for me to you know find the sound and fit into his world what he is trying to show. So it was a great journey for me to travel with his vision and you know find the sound. So tell us about the support of your team in producing the music and the background score. I had a great uh, team, like my sound engineer, Mr. Jehovasan. He's uh, he's been a part of me from my first film. So he is also part of the music production. My keyboard players, my programmers, so many people like Ashwin, uh, uh, Sitan, Sanjay, uh, Ganesh. Uh, so many uh, some names I might have forgotten. There are so many players, great players, great percussionists, great musicians. Um, and then uh, Peri Navin, the flautist, and then um, uh, strings instruments from a lot of parts of. See, from Kerala there are musicians, from Tamil Nadu, from Hyderabad, from Bombay. There's been a huge team who's been playing around for this film because it's a very tough film to. Uh, it's a very challenging film to operate. So we've tried to get the best out of uh, uh, the sounds for Tamil. So thanks for so, my lyric writers, my singers, my whole musician team, my engineers. Everyone, I'm very thankful. Without them, Tangalan will not be possible. So films like like this doesn't have any reference point. So what have you done to create this music? So basically, see the tribes, the tribal sounds. So I've used lot of native Indian flutes, native Indian voices, native Indian stacks of voices, like uh, some some international instruments like didgeridoo, uh, like uh, the duduk. So many international Iranian or Australian instruments. All the native of the whole world have brought into Tangalan with the proper Indian tribal touch and tribal tune to it. So we we'll have our Indian sounds, we we'll have a mix of international sounds. We club it; it's a fusion of the tribal of the world and mixed with the cinematic experiences. The Tangalan sound. Yeah, hi, GV. This yeah. is Narayana from 18F website. Hi, hi, hi. 
last time I asked the question, how you balancing your acting skills and music? Like you are doing a big films like for the music. So how you are balancing day by day? I shoot 13 days per month. And after that, I sit on the music. So I split it into half and half. So when I'm uh, into the music thing, I get, I t- we take notes, everything we are planned, we are there, we have a very strong team. And I, we keep everything, we don't push work to the last moment. We finish off everything early. So we meet deadlines. Maximum, I'll cover my deadlines very, very clearly. So I also uh, call them and get my inputs correctly. I'll say, this is the date, I will deliver this. This is the date, we are going to do this. This is the date. And we, we ourselves will call. We won't wait for them to call and, you know, we won't push the thing. That work has to be done that day. So that's how, you know, <laughs> I operate. Okay. And also another question is that right now, after so few years after, there is no balance. Uh, difference of the language so you are one film tamil film went to the world another language so there is any difference between the music or the composing for the only tamil base or you are thinking that other language also like a telugu think, malayalam it is not about tamil telugu or malayalam it is about where the story is placed so you have a geography you have it placed in in uh, say uh, in andhra in interior andhra somewhere we have to find the essence of that place the folk of that particular city, the, the folk of that particular town. So that is what I work on, you know, to find the sound of the geography. So that, you know, we presented, suppose it was going to be pan-Indian, we presented with the, the native languages of uh, all the languages. But, but basically, I start working with the geography of where the script belongs to and what is the uh, aim of the script and what are we going to convey. Is this an emotion? Is this a... Uh, uh, revenge is this going to be what is the basic emotion of the script is the uh, is the plot line is the starting point for me to operate so it's not only about language but sometimes you know you you have to bring in the essence of folk or whatever geography you're trying to tell so what was the learning experience uh, from uh, ranjit sir and vikram sir so both have been uh, very good professionals ranjit sir has given me full freedom for this film Whatever tune we did is only the first tune. And then, you know, three days before shoot, he'll come. he says, sir, I want something like this. I'll be like, sir, we just have three days. What will I do? And he'll suddenly come. So I said, okay, sir, come. Then I'll sit with him. I will jam. I will create a rhythm. Then he will work on lyrics and bring me the essence of his lyrics. And he'll tell me the word. So it was very like a jamming session composing with Rajat, sir. It was like, you know, you have a band and all of us are, uh, all of us are sitting together. And then he'll say, sir, in your high, you know, sir, uh, ikra oru, <laughs> uh, high energy I want, he'll say. So it was very unplanned. There was no format we followed in this film. But it was a nice jam between me. He has a very nice music sense. He has, a, he encourages all indie musicians. So he brought in some musicians, he brought in some lyricists, and I am there. It was a very collaborative session. It was beautiful to work with Ranjit sir. And Vikram sir, see, I already did know, uh, see, Devith Irmagal I did uh, with him. And then Nana, Nana Chitram I did with him. Yes. And I did Tandavam with him. So this is my third film with him. He's a, he's a very professional actor. He's done his best. And he's given his best for this film. Because, uh, you know, he's like a huge uh, plus for the film. And, you know, we've, we've given our best. All of us have worked and given our best for this. Sir, what is the impact of the BGM for this movie, sir? You will know. See, with the teaser and trailer, everyone liked the BGM. The power of the BGM. You know? So because when you're telling a powerful story, you're telling a myth, you're telling a magic realism, you're telling a fantasy, you're telling betrayal, you're telling heroism, you're telling all these emotions. So everything we've tried to pump in through the music, like, you know, push it, push the bar, push the scene, elevate the scene. So that much, uh, you know, effort I've taken on the background score. And whatever has come till now, people have received it very, very positively regarding Tandala. So I think, I pray, you know, all the uh, effort goes into the positive thing because it is it is a huge hard work. It is not something normal. See, for every film, we'll say we did so much hard work, we did so much hard work. But this film, really, we did so much hard work. Sir, so in this the film, character? there are many female orient- female characters are very strong characters. So, what do you say about this? It is great. See, you should, have, you should have great characters and great actors to play. Like, see, Parvati is one of the best actors in India and she's played a very, very uh, uh, real character, you know, a tribal girl and, you know, a tribal lady, a mother of uh, children and She's done a very good job and Malavika has got a very powerful role with action. So, you know, it's very, it's a dream for, uh, to get such beautiful characters in uh, uh, cinema for ladies and Ranjit has been very, very good at his 
the way he writes, uh, uh, you know, characters for women, and I think uh, more power to Ranjit on doing such great roles for women. Uh, I say, sorry, Garu. Give me one more. Give me one more question. That's a. Uh, how tunes are popular and same time OST is also popular these days. So OST, some directors are asking the before the shoot, the tracks, uh, they're fixing the tracks. So how you how you are working? There's a before we did, tracks, we did two before three shoot, games for this film. We did already. There's a huge ritual there. You know, there's a uh, there's a huge ritual sacrifice which happens in this film, which was done for music and we shot it for the music. So we we have done a lot of it. Like after you got to go this film also, we've done BGM for the film. And they've used it and shot it for the footage. Jeevi Garu, this is Shiva. Did you use any AI technique for Tangalan music? See, the technique is basically we've used period uh, sound. We've used... Uh, okay. uh, see, whenever we uh, get a British thing, we have this British... Hey, Karana? So, whenever uh, we, have, we have this... Now, I'm going to call. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, the British period is there. So we've used that kind of an era sounds. And then uh, the tribal uh, portions are there. There we've used the tribal sounds, the native Indian sounds, native uh, woodwinds. Uh, so those kind of sounds we've used. And then the recordings are maximum live. Live instruments we've used for into the tribal thing and then to bring that effect. But wherever it is powerful, we are going through the, the the standard classic sounds like the brass, the strings, the period sounds. Of course, uh, they are classics. So th those kind of sound tones, we use it for emotions and war and all those things. So we've done a lot of variety into the uh, sound stream or the soundscape of the Tamil. And uh, oh, what are the challenges you uh, faced while you uh, Sir, uh, yeah, am I audible? Yeah, sir, I'm, I can listen to you. I can listen yeah, to you. so uh, during incorporating AI into the music production, uh, what are the challenges you faced uh, while, like, you know, incorporating music for this film? And add, adding on that question also, that's a, how challenges, how facing the challenges for the future music industry, that's a, including the AI. It's a good for the musicians or a bad? See, AI, see, whenever technology comes up with something new, we have to use it to our advantage. There is nothing about how, it's about how you're using it. Are you depending on it or you're using to get few things? Like see, some things you want to try out to see how combinations work. You can try AI, there's nothing wrong about it. But uh, we can't ask, we can't depend on AI to do our music or we can't depend on AI to compose for us. So that will not work. But, but you know, you want to try something, you have to check how it is. How is this possible? Is this area possible? Can we try something like this? So for the checking, you can definitely use AI. There's nothing wrong about it. The challenge is what I faced in Tangalan is basically time was a big constraint because sometimes, you know, last moment they will have uh, songs for shooting. So two days before I'll be informed, but I'll try my best to finish it off for them. I will make space for them. And th that was a challenge. And then background score was a very heavy film. I took around uh, 50 days to do the music of uh, background score of Tangalan. It's a very, very heavy film. So it was a challenging film in terms of sound, in terms of emotions every frame you know like there is a there are different sequences dependent on music there won't be dialogue there'll be a lot of music uh, so that was a big challenge and getting there is a balance between effects and music we have to get the correct balance so that area we needed to work where FX have to go front we gave it to FX where we, our music has to go front we put it in music where dialogues it's a live sound film so dialogue has to be given preference so that kind of uh, uh, technical challenges we had a lot Jivigaru, the... Actually, Hello? in Tangriyan, there is uh, more, than, more than emotion scenes also. Uh, rather than action scenes, emotion scenes also worked well, we think. Uh, so, you must elevate emotion scenes with BGM. So, how it worked, how it worked and after the uh, first copy, uh, the cast and crew reaction is what? So basically, the copy just got ready uh, yesterday, day before. So we are, uh, our team are yet to watch it, to watch the film. But whatever we watch till now is fantastic. So uh, see the emotional portions. I have to treat it not like a regular emotional drama. I have to treat the emotional in an international way. So there are a lot of 
huge emotional portions in the film where you know you can find music it won't be regular say okay i'm not i'm going to play a flute here i'm going to play a strings here i'm going to play a violin solo here i've not created it like that even emotional sequences will have a dynamic bed where you know the music keeps uh, uh elevating and it is it, it goes with the flow it is not like a, a dramatic music i've done on hamelan uh, so that even the emotional sequences very uniquely have treated it should uh, look into it jivi uh, there is a complaint that uh, technology advantages makes uh, some artificial kind of music so audience or uh, music lovers are not happy with the natural kind of uh, music which produced riley raja sir ir rahman sir what do you say then that is only a perception sir i don't think so it is that way you see basically i think a script only decides what it wants see when you are doing something like a uh you know like a like an endiran or a kalki you have those kind of films you have to go futuristic in terms of sound and music you cannot go old uh, style music for that uh, if it's if it is a futuristic film so i completely feel it depends only on the script and what the situations are if you're going to have an emotional situation an emotional thing it will, it will be pushed in that way if it has a modernity in terms of uh, if it has preference to dance we have to go to dance so it all depends on what the director and the vision what you know uh, is is to the script so it taste differs sir so taste definitely differs we cannot uh, see i cannot satisfy you you cannot satisfy me but that is uh, not the uh, because the opinions change to every people but i feel the script is everything for me. and the script the situation the way it is going to be approached that's how i deal with music but i don't want to comment on others music because everyone has a different way of handling they have their own way of producing i don't want to comment on anyone sir uh, in uh, tanglan is a special film uh, oh, what kind of uh, care you taken for to impress the music lovers sir every bit has been taken care of sir it is not a something normal film or a normal music we have done we have done extreme hard work and you know it is not something it is just not like okay i have a keyboard i compose something yeah this is the going to release nothing like that but that film every sound you know we take it care and you know, every lyric every sound you know it has to reflect an emotion it has to reflect a geography it has to reflect an emotion of a tribe because you are telling a story of a tribe you have to be truthful to it and whatever maximum truthfulness i can have to this film i kept sir nowadays the background score is dominating the all other elements okay so some movies are mainly uh, become a blockbusters uh, with with the bgm all these music elements so how would be tanglan i think it has a very very heavy background score because there are a lot of portions is done only for music so it will do the magic like how asuran did a magic for me how you akasamni hadra did a magic for me i think uh, tangalar will also do the magic for me and the music will also do magic for the film i mean i hope so i've given my best that's what i think and i believe and i hope it reflects to the audience thank you sir yes. uh so uh, looking ahead are there any other projects or collaborations you're particularly excited about which you can show uh, share with us uh, there are a lot of films in dhanush mm-hmm. sir's direction next uh, there is a there's a cute little film with young actors it's called nilavakki nad in mail kova that's a young film for the 2k gen z kids a young album because see i've done so many period films big films and now coming up with something young uh, come up for uh, dhanush sir's direction so that is there i'm doing one more film in dhanush sir's direction i'm doing music for one more film which is acting and then i'm doing amaran with shivakartike it's a it's a biopic of a soldier Uh, so that one i'm doing i'm doing lucky basker with uh, uh, venki atturi garu and sitara entertainment and uh, uh, dulkar uh, garu that's a beautiful film i i'm really looking forward for that and i'm doing robin hood with uh, nitin and uh, uh, kurumula and uh, so these are all coming up there are few more telugu films which uh, uh, i might do something for dilraju garu but we have not uh, signed yet we've spoken and i might do something for vijayanthi also we have, we have almost signed so these are all coming up and i'm producing a film called kingston it's a canadian film i produced and acted in the film it's something like a harry potter kind of an adventure it's like a very uh, uh, a 
sci-fi film with a with a period and history to it, and then uh, it has all elements to it. It's like a it's like a Harry Potter kind of a film. So these are all coming up. So looking forward. Wow, that's an interesting lineup of projects. So are all these uh, into music, or you're also acting in any of them? Whatever I've discussed till now, I've, I'm doing music. Also. Whatever the projects I mentioned now. I'm doing music. I'm still I'm acting and doing music. In Nilam Kennedy and Neil Kumar, I've done a cameo in one of the songs. That was sir directed it, and I I came in a cameo. Hi, Jeevi. This is Varun from Cinema Zindagi. I just wanted to ask you, how do you stay in current with the industry trends and the developments? We keep updating, sir. We keep listening. We keep watching. So I try my best to keep an update. And I, I've stayed here for 17 years. I'm grateful that I'm still relevant and I'm still there. Uh, and uh, I'm still fighting every day to give my best. I'm not uh, being lethargic or I'm not going to be like, okay, this is fine. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be working hard every day in every film and every work I do. It's like my debut. I feel I just started my first day in the music industry. So I'm trying to learn and give the best and understand. Try to improve myself. Hey, sir, are you acting in that uh, Harry Potter type of the film? Or yeah, the it's, a, it's a three-part film. I and Z Studios we're producing it to the, uh, together. Uh, my company, Parallel Universe Pictures, is also part of it. And uh, Kamal Hasan sir launched the film for us, the title for us. He came for the puja. So it's it's an exciting film. It's a three-part film. We've shot the first part. We are at the end of the CG portions. We're gonna come soon with the first look. It is going to be one exciting film. Jeevi Garu, your hundred project film with Sudha Kangaragad has been cancelled. Uh, are they cancelled? Because what day it is happening? Uh, Sikramga, we will announce the project soon. It okay. is happening. It is happening with Sudha Kumara. Hundred GV hundred is happening. Is Surya is the hero? That is Sudha Kumara. Okay, okay. Hello, okay. Okay. Uh, can we wrap up? Is there any? Any more questions? You guys are okay. We're done. Uh, so Thank finally, you. Thank you so much, Andy. Jeevi Garu, one last question. Jeevi Garu, one last question. Yeah, yeah, Chappan, Chappan. Yeah. What's the most challenging aspect of life? Live performance in Sunday, and how do you overcome it? In live performance, Sunday, there are so many uh, uh, tough challenges. Uh, uh, in Sunday, you have this uh, the physical condition. Now, if suddenly you will get rain, uh, your sound won't be correct, your speakers won't be correct, your rehearsals. You know, one musician will be rehearsing, and then there will be a lot of pressure from the uh, producer point of view, from the geography, from the ticket counter selling. And then from your uh, climate, you know, uh, your dance rehearsals, getting all things done, your stage timing, you know, you have, and then suddenly the dancers have to come in. There is so much of pressure for me, more pressure for me in the live stage. But once you feel the audience coming in and they start enjoying, then you are in another world. So that experience you can never get anywhere. It's just like there, that moment you can feel all of them. And then when you go and sit and dance in front of them, they come into the fan pit. It's a very very surreal moment. So there are huge challenges for composers when they go into life. So that's why you know I do very very less. I did one concert in Coimbatore. We sold seventy five thousand tickets. It was one of the biggest in Coimbatore. But that experience was so good. It's been almost one year. My next one I'm going to do in Malaysia, KL for DMY. Uh, so that is coming up, sir. So upcoming music directors, can you advise us, sir? Music directors. See, you will be genuine to it. There'll be see the problem for upcoming music directors is when you're doing a song, there will be so many questions, so many people telling opinions. Like see, uh, there'll be a producer, there'll be a director, there'll be a hero. So so many things will come in, and then to save your soul or what you your baby is, uh, and satisfying all of them uh, is the biggest challenge for composers. So all the debutant composers. Uh, be cool. You always do well, and I think uh, you got blessed. But finally, what is the kind of experience audience are going to experience after watching Tangal? It, it is a new world. So it is a new world. You are going to watch a new world, a new experience. So definitely, a new experience theatrical uh, audience will be very excited to watch. So I am also excited to watch with the audience. So I am also excited to watch Tangal. All the best, sir. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thanks all of you for spending your time with me. Thank you all. All the best, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good day, Thank bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.